Hey there, Elliot here with another quick fix for all you Apple device users. You know the hustle. You buy a second-hand iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, and boom, a dreaded iCloud activation lock message pops up. It's locked to the previous owner, and you're left scratching your head, right? Many of you are asking about specific services or software to bypass this iCloud lock. While some might work, they often come with a hefty price tag. They might involve particular risks that could make things worse. But hey, hold on, I've got some good news for you. There's a much safer, quicker, and guess what? Totally free alternative that is guaranteed to work. In this video, I will walk you through this foolproof way of unlocking your device from that annoying iCloud activation lock. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So, are you ready to dive in? Let's do this. This guide is only for folks who own their device, but have misplaced their login details. We're not here to help anyone break the law or mess with stolen goods. Let's keep things legit and respect others' rights. Also, you can rest assured this video ticks all the boxes for YouTube's rules and community standards. Many services claim to help with iCloud unlocking, and I know how confusing it can be to choose the right one. Some options include Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. Now, a buddy of mine recently got caught up in this activation lock situation. He'd picked up this sleek iPhone at a second-hand shop, but realized it was iCloud locked. Imagine his frustration. But then he stumbled upon safe unlocks. It was a breeze, and he unlocked his phone without hassle. For educational purposes, we're going to dig deep into that. Then you've also got iUnlock app, another solid choice for getting rid of that annoying iPhone locked to owner message. Quite a few folks I know have had smooth sailing using iUnlock app. Then there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's like having your very own tech whiz working through the problem. It's super straightforward and efficient, not to mention it's AI-powered. How cool is that? Last but not least, we've got Lock to Owner. It's like the new kid on the block, but don't let that fool you. They're quite the contender when it comes to iCloud unlock services. Each of these services has strengths, and it's all about finding what works best for your situation. Remember, we're just sharing information here. All right, now that we've laid out your options, let's take a closer look at how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant in the next step. Stay tuned for that. For our unlock services to work, it's crucial to understand that they are mainly available in first world countries. However, if you're in a region where you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got you covered. Every week, we give away 250 unlocks to our dedicated video viewers. Entering to win is easy. Here's a quick, clear, and concise guide on how you can enter, like this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Drop a comment below with the following details. Your phone model, such as Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and your country. As soon as you complete these three easy steps, you'll be automatically entered into the draw for the weekly unlocks. Remember, your participation is essential for us to continue offering this service. Good luck, and we look forward to unlocking your device soon. All right, here's how it works with unlockhere.com, an AI-powered web app that can tackle any mobile phone restriction you're dealing with. First, you will head to unlockhere.com on your phone's web browser or computer. Once you're there, you'll see Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to unlock your iCloud by clicking on Activation Lock. Then, you'll select which device you're dealing with. In this case, we're choosing an iPhone, but you could also select an iPad or Apple Watch if you have those. This next part is important. You've got to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Every iPhone has an IMEI, but an iPad or Apple Watch might only have a serial number, especially if it doesn't have a SIM card slot. You can find this information on your locked device. Just press the sleep button, hit it again, and tap on the I at the bottom right. This will show you your device info. Don't forget, on the next step, you'll need to put in your device information. Next, you must enter basic info to link the order to your account. Ensure the information is correct so you can get your order confirmation. They'll email you a confirmation code that you'll need later. Just check that you agree with the terms and are not trying to unlock a stolen device. Solve the quick CAPTCHA to prove you're not a bot, then hit Start Process. At this point, you should have received an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it, check your spam or junk folder. Grab that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. You'll need to enter it there and prove you're not a robot again. 
As soon as you've entered the code, your unlock process will get started. And before you know it, your device will be free from that lock. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. That's it for this method. It's pretty easy, right? Now, stick around because we've got more for those who want a different approach. All right, guys, here are some more alternative ways to deal with the annoying iCloud activation lock issue. Boy, do I understand how frustrating it can be. So let's dive right in and sort this out. Firstly, have you ever wondered why Apple added an activation lock to their devices? Well, it's all about your security. It's a way to keep your device and information safe if it's ever lost or stolen. But don't worry, there are legal ways to deal with this. One way is to reach out directly to Apple. If you're the original owner of the device with the purchase receipt, and you find the device asking for someone else's credentials, Apple might be able to help you out. You just need to get in touch with their support team. But let's say you bought the device secondhand and didn't realize it had an iCloud lock. What do you do then, right? Well, another legal way is to contact the previous owner. If it's locked to their iCloud account, they can sign in and remove the lock for you. Sometimes it's not that easy though, especially if you can't track down the original owner. In such cases, your best bet is to use the services of an established service provider who specializes in iCloud activation lock removal. The ones I've mentioned previously are reputable sites that have experience dealing with these kinds of issues. So folks, that's what you need to know about legally removing iCloud activation lock. Dealing with the lock might be frustrating, but I hope these steps shed some light on tackling the issue. See you in the next one.